God. This is already so boring. So, so next up. Well, next up, uh, chronologically, would be. I can't remember. Ubisoft. Cool. I don't know, up in the balcony, are you guys ready? Yeah! Yes! Down in the main floor, are you guys ready? Let's go, players! <laughs> so. <laughs> so, Ubisoft started with a fucking bang. This is exactly how I expected Ubisoft to yeah. start. No, they have, they have done exactly what I thought they were going to do, like, to the letter. It really, well, they, they, they too, had their, their pre, pre-3. Yeah. The, the pre-3, pre-con, pre-show. The pre-com. Pre-com, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pre. <gasps> um, and they did. They preed all over, and we don't care because it's the fucking pre-show and like, I get that you have to have a lead in. This is already so boring. I get that you have to have a lead in, but god no, damn just, it. just go straight for it, fucking... Well that's it, they have like... and unprepared. They have like the, the fucking Twitch hosts and shit, and they still have the people in the room being like, Are you ready? Yeah. Are you, are you a top shelf, are you excited for the, the, the Ubi? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you're ready for the biggest gaming, uh, biggest Big show, show in gaming, then let's start the show. Let's do it! So they had their pre-show, and they started, and the first thing we see is just a fucking dancing, a panda or a bear or yeah, like in fucking... like a in like a marching band outfit. Yeah. For no goddamn reason. Why's there a panda though? There's always a panda. <laughs> That's just the. I, I guess it's just like the Just Dance Panda. With, with a well, song. They, had a, they had a marching band, but why was the panda in the marching band? Um, panda just could have been panda. Look, little known facts about pandas, right? Is that they're, they're fucking really talented musicians. They love marching! Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's why they don't fuck, they're too busy marching. That's it, they just march all over the place. <laughs> they love it! They fucking love they it. They love a good fucking march. I don't know why that got consistency. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so that's how Ubi started, and you know, what? fuck it, fine. You know what? Whatever. It, it, it was more interesting than most. Yeah. Just about every single one of these others we're going to discuss had yeah. a shitter opening. That was a, a, at least Ubisoft. That's like okay, this is definitely Ubisoft. Well, this was fucking Ubisoft's big issue, though. Because they spunked so hard at the beginning, they had nothing left by the time it came to by the by the time. That's it, man. To come. They, 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 <laughs> you know? Oh, that was by, by, by the time it, it was time for their big fucking money shot. They were already just fucking sporting a semi. Yeah, no, they were just they, having a fucking were, thumb it in. They were spent. <laughs> they were fucking. That's it. But yeah, so, so it starts with Just Dance, and fair enough, get it out of the way, yeah. it's always there, it's like yeah, a bunch of games we could mention from various fucking developers. Yeah, that's it, you know, you know it's coming. Yeah. Who are? Uh... But then they plow straight into fucking Beyond Good and Evil 2. Yeah. Which, which play. Sure. You know, you know what? It, it, it definitely hyped up. <coughs> it definitely hyped up the start of Ubisoft's pre mm. the press conference. Ubi. Ubi, Ubi, Ubi. The thing was though, so so they they, they played the fucking trailer, mm. and I was like, okay, I know what this is. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm watching it. And, and like, by the end, like, cause you didn't like last year's reveal. Yeah, no, I. Well, you were very skeptical of last year's reveal. I, I was, but this one, you know what? It won you over a little. A little bit. I'll, 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 this is it. I'm gonna give props where it's where it's deserved, like. I'm, I'm, I'm not a harsh man, I'm just, just a skeptical one. Just a scared one, yeah. deep down. Yeah. Don't, don't hurt the things I like. Yeah, no, I hear from that, I hear that from you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm hurting the things you like. Pretty much. Um, but then they had the reveal of uh, the character from well, the first game, which so, I haven't played. So, so it, it was looking as if Jade from the first game, who's the protagonist of the first game, He's going to be the antagonist of this. Mm. At least that's how it's looking from the trailer. You know what? That's kind of cool. Okay. 
see where it goes. Yeah, that's it. Like, um, I'm more interested than I was to begin with. Mm. And that's, so that's the point of this fucking thing, you know? Yeah. Like, And then they showed some pre-alpha uh, actual gameplay bits. Yeah, like t- tiny bit. Like, tiny like, bits. Tiny but fucking stems. But no, the, it looks nice. Like the, the world design and everything's looking it's interesting in there. Like at least trying to do something with it. Yeah, they went out and, and did something. They were like, here, it, it, it was the opposite of EA. Yeah. Who who was a lot of tell and a lot of not show. At the same time though. And then they had fucking Joglo come out. Joe Joglo? Yeah, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah! Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird having someone with charisma on stage at an event like this. The way he like swooped in as well. Yeah, it's just like, look. it's okay. Yeah. I'm here now. <laughs> no, no, what it was is they're, they're doing a thing which again sounds interesting. I don't know why he was there though. Because that's his company. Oh, okay. So, so it's basically some company that like works with different media to get people collaborating in different bits of media. So like getting people to do artwork that will appear in the game and music that will appear in the game and that sort of shit. Which mm. again, it's a cool idea. Yeah. Like I, I might even submit some stuff just to, just, just, just in to case. See. Just in case. Well, I know they are asking for like spec stuff, but yeah. But I can I can write to spec. Yeah. yeah. How hard could it be? Yeah. Um. I like a music. So yeah, and all that seemed very cool. Mm. And and they they were open that it's a long fucking way off. Um, yeah, but that's it. They're like, we're working on it. Hold tight. Yeah, and like who knows if we'll actually see it next year. Yeah, maybe we will. I honestly wouldn't care. Like they've done enough to show that they're going in in decent enough directions. That's it. They're, they're, they're doing it well. They're doing it well. <laughs> Yeah. We nailed it! Did you hear the mics? Yep, we nailed it! We nailed it, guys! We nailed it! Wow! So then, uh, <laughs> was the division. Oh! And I'll, I, I, I'm just gonna let you talk about the division for a bit because I don't really have anything to say because I don't care. I don't know, for, for me, the, the, the whole division thing was just. I mean, one, the first game was shit. Just, like... Oh, boo, I don't care. <laughs> on Black Friday, a strain of the smallpox virus was released on dollar bills in New York City. The infection and chaos spread across the nation. Seven months later, that's a hell of a marketing tactic, I tell you. But America is tearing itself apart. That doesn't take much. Washington, DC. Just give up. Just give up. And, and also, stop using the dead man's name to sell your tribe. But just give up. Like... I don't think Tom Clancy gave a fuck. Not by the... No, like, at first, he, he used to be, like, quite hands-on in... In terms of, like the the games that like took his name and that sort of shit, and then he got like old and shit. Like... Yeah, no, but this is what I'm saying. But you know, now the motherfucker's dead. Allow it. Allow it. It's still his like property, so I guess. Uh, either way, either way. But the 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 trailer was was a great representation of something that I fucking hate, which is where companies will do like. Ooh, we're gonna we're gonna show you some gameplay of us when we're playing it online. This was the thing. Yeah, and and, and it's people that if these people were in your lobby, you would wish suicide on them. And there was this player. I don't remember if they were male or female, but they were like they they found they found a box. They yeah. found a box that was high up, and then we were like, guys, 
Guys, I found a thing. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna shoot it down. I, yeah, I think I'm gonna shoot it down. Uh, guys, guys, I'm gonna shoot the thing down. Yeah. Guys, there's a thing, I'm gonna shoot it down. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the thing down now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guys, I shot the thing down. It was a gun. I'm gonna open it now. <laughs> this is it, like... I don't know if anyone at Ubisoft has ever played an online game with real humans. I would buy a bigger jacket or a smaller shirt. Are the last line of defense for those civilians and for the Or cut the sleeves off. Make it like a little waistcoat. No one wants a denim waistcoat, Joe. Come on, man. He's wearing a baseball cap, Charlie. Of course he wants a denim waistcoat. Okay, no, I get your point. <laughs> no. Okay, no. You know, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. But he can't even do all them buttons up, fam. He's got two of them buttons done. The best of man getting milk. Clap. Oh, no, I, I could use that, though, because that works better than my move. All right. What are you giving me? Real money. Get it. Fucking pay me. <laughs> Give me a burger. We're out here chasing that cash. And then in the, uh... And then in the Tom Clancy book, they had, uh... The Rainbow Six movie, I guess. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Things apparently, like, not even the fans. I'm still not even sure if there was a game attached. No, no, they, they were just like, oh, people like playing Rainbow Six online. Oh. That is like the greatest injury to ever happen to me. Only because uh, it brought siege to me. <laughs> Rainbow Six still exists. Guys. People play it. Cool. There's so few players left, we were able to round them all up and make a documentary about them. Oh, this guy here. He's got nothing going on in his life. So instead, he's gonna play some Rainbow Six. And that, that was the whole fucking Woo! gist of it. That was it, it was like, this man with no other talents is gonna play a video game. There's literally six people left playing Rainbow Six yeah. at this point. And that's a fucker as well, because you need ten for a match. Fuck! <laughs> that's it, they've, they've got to keep like... They're the kind of pricks that will like pester you on Steam. Be like, yo, do you want to come play? No. Nah. No, I've just logged into Steam, I'm not actually playing it. I, like, it, it just means my computer's on? Yeah. I don't. If, if it says I'm playing the game, yeah, I'll come play a game, but like... Or if I'm playing off. a game. But no, I'm not. No, if I'm playing a game, because I want to play that game. Fuck off. Don't invite me. Unless I message you first and like, yo, I'm feeling to play some. L let me know when you're not in a match. Yeah. That's that's like a, a polite way. Yeah. Rainbow Six. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and then we moved on to something that I, I, I felt they handled really well. Which was? The Donkey Kong update. Okay, yeah. So, instead of... Because last year they had the big reveal of, no, no, no. of the Kingdom Battle and, and Mario and Rabbids and they had fucking Miyamoto on stage and blah, blah, blah. And there was no fucking way they could do that again. Yeah. Because people would not have been like, What? So instead... <laughs> they just showed footage. And were like, they showed yeah. footage, got a bunch of musicians, like, a bunch of musicians. Oh, yeah. And, and fucking Grant Kirk Hope out on stage and they were playing and, and the the chopping changing between songs mm. seemingly at like awkward timing was fucking phenomenally pulled off. Yeah. And they mentioned the DK rap. You know how Is like this gonna... like for real though. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't about to be <laughs> The Donkey Kong rap. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
<laughs> it's worth mentioning that That's U canon Ubisoft now. mentioned the DK rep and was still better than Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. Spoil. Oh, fuck. But uh, the, like, and and it's it's just a DLC. Yeah. It's not a full sequel, full money, fucking all this shit. And it was just like, yeah. See, when 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 you said you you were really impressed with how they introduced a the thing, for a minute I thought you were being incredibly sarcastic. And instead, we're talking about the the way that they decided to announce the new trials. Yay! Trials. I, I hope. <laughs> Can't even just fucking hire a guy to get up on the stage with it. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Oh, no. No, that was <laughs> full on amazing. Like. <laughs> okay, so, a, a, just a large man. He was, he was a big man. He was a big man, but a large man. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he rides down the aisle. Of very this. slowly. <laughs> yeah. Very. And like, very... he's, he's full on. Just like approaching the stairs, he's going straight towards it, and then he stops the bike, gets up, <laughs> and walks then up runs the steps <laughs> onto the stage, and then he just like belly flops into the podium, mm -hmm. and then he's like, "We're making a new trials," yeah. and then they had, um, <laughs> they, they they had like a. Uh, a YouTuber guy mm. who they brought in was oh, it like the, DJ the Fat Shady? Hi, Professor Fat Shady. Stay down the front. I see you. I became a fan of trials because it's challenging but so rewarding when you overcome something difficult. But I soon realised that a number of playable players struggled with the harder levels. So, oh, so much lip smacking going on. I created university trials. A YouTube yeah. The trials school, the, the school of hard trials, or yeah. So they brought a, a YouTube tutorial -y guy to help with the tutorial levels, which makes sense and it's 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 nice. But it was such a stupid reveal. Oh, it was. It was special. <coughs> it's been like four years since the last trials game. Yeah, they ended on fucking Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, oh no, there's bad pacing, but like... But we have a couple of things, uh, uh, yeah. We One more thing things. about Trolls though, is that it did point out just like an issue I have personally. Which I, I mentioned at the time. Which is watching just like random gameplay footage. Mm. Of a game I've put a lot of time into. <laughs> and seeing how yeah, bad people play Yeah, you got like... Uh, irritable. That was it, I'm just like, you're taking the wrong line there. You're never gonna get a gold medal. You fuck. Like, ah, inefficient lines. That's not what gameplay trailers are about. I know, but ah, it's still just it's, it's the same as seeing like video footage of random people playing Tetris. Oh, oh, it hurts me. It's like no, no, you save, you save the four in a row. Put that on either side. Then you get a bigger multiplier. Fucking idiots. Yep. <laughs> I see people do it wrong all the time. <laughs> or they'll lay one flat, or just like, they'll use it for the one. Ah! Uh, stop it. <clears throat> it genuinely makes me angry. I know. <laughs> it's really sad. Yep. I don't care. <laughs> So then uh, they had Skull and Bones, which was so interesting, I don't really remember it. Oh, was that the one that was just, um... Cause that, no, there was two pirate games as well. 
There, there was only well one Ubi. Sea of Thieves, which is super complicating the matter. Where, no, where was that? That was in Xbox. Okay. But no, Skull and Bone. That that was that the one that was just the boat stuff from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Yeah, maybe. There was a lot of piratey. There was. There was a lot of pirating this year at E3. There was. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> and then Elijah Wood came out. All right, Elijah Wood. There was Elijah Wood. That's why I said his name. Everyone, my name is Elijah Wood. See? Yeah. One thing about you know, all these like piratey games, right? Yeah. You never see any rape. I mean, you don't see it in like Viking. You, you didn't see rape in the Lost Vikings. I didn't see old, the Lost Vikings. That old puzzle platformer from the nineties. Where was the realism? This is already so boring. <laughs> but just, just a fucking power through by this point. Um, transference the Elijah Wood game with FMV and with okay so this was the thing with like the the phantom glitch monster mm -hmm. and it there was FMV and there was a ch there was a model of a child mm -hmm. in the game but it was actually like in the game it was an FMV but then it, the glitch monster was meant to have like Swallowed the real people, mm. but the the model of the child was the real people, and then it turned them into FMV, which is actual real people, and it was yeah. very fucking confusing. That was, I, I remember watching it being quite confused, but more than that, I, I, I do remember being like, oh, what shit monster? Because they built up like a lot of tension, and it was genuinely doing bits. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I, I saw the monster, and I was just like, oh, I don't care now. Like, I'm fine with that, but like... That no, no, was just a uh, shit-looking monster. Too much confusion in the rest of it for me. Like, I don't think it was meant to be this particularly horrifying monster. No, it wasn't, but it was still just like... It, it, it didn't excite me in any capacity. <laughs> <laughs> I can't come if it's not a good monster. <laughs> so then uh, we had You're Piranha. just gonna use that out of context, don't you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so then For Honor is getting an update of some kind. Yeah. I really wasn't listening. No, it was, it was, um, like, For Honor in Little Chinatown. For Honor in space. Yeah. Big Honor in Little Ch Chinatown. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Reservoir Honours. Yeah. That was it. That, I think that was basically like, oh, we've got twice as many Asian people now. Was the main gist. Okay. And then there was like a new... I'm always down for that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, the, you can storm a castle now. Just, cool. just on the subject of For Honour, I do want to point out that when Ubisoft was doing like a little thing in, in the game near us, I, 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 I went there and was like just chatting to the Ubisoft representative. This story's already on YouTube. I know. I'm going to cut it. Okay. <laughs> Basically, long story short, he agreed to Ubisoft for a bunch of shit cunts. I mean, this was a couple years ago. When yeah. they really were. No, but they, they, that was the thing. <laughs> I pointed out all the shit they'd done. He was like, yeah. So he's like, but, are you going to get the game? Then I was like, but they're, they're having moments. They're having moments of, of like... That's it. They're, they're really, they've got people there that care. And they've got people there that just don't give a fuck. Mm. Which is quite possibly the most French thing you can do. So it makes sense. But now, they, now they're starting to work with Japanese people who really give a fuck. They really care. Like, too much. And that links me into uh, the next thing. Mm -hmm. that happened, which was uh, the new Star Fox. Really? Let's rock and roll, boys. Oh. Oh, <laughs> God, yeah. Which, like, I'm... <sighs> I'm so torn on. Don't endorse this. No. Don't endorse this. <laughs> Come on, man.
God damn, stop being so good. He's just so cute. That's it, I can't be cynical looking at the man. Thank you, <laughs> he just fucking loves Thank life. You, he really does. For everyone at Eden. Yeah. Because like, every time I see like the full package, I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Mm. And then every time I see gameplay, I'm like, maybe. Maybe it'll be all right. Yeah. And like, if I can just pretend, if I can pretend that for my Switch, I brought a special edition of the new Star Fox game, which came with a Star Fox, uh, whatever the fucking fight is called. Oh, what is it called? Oh, what you look awful. I know, the Q-Wing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I was just gonna do that under my hand and then you could have dubbed it over once we know. Our wing. That sounded like me. But yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm really good at impressions, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. I know your impression. I'll let you fill in that gap. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You know, I'm just gonna take the audio of you saying I'm gonna let you fill in that gap and put it there. As long as this explanation is also in there for context. I really want to try and get a shot of you winking now and just put it off. <laughs> it's just, how are you filling that gap? I wish I could wink properly. <laughs> yeah, so, so Star Fox just looks... And then Miyamoto was there. That, I, I was... It, and like, he wasn't in Nintendo's thing. It, 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 yeah. But Sakurai. Yeah, okay. fair. Maybe Miyamoto found out they can be Sakurai. Only one. <laughs> no, he found out Sakurai was gonna be there, and he's like, "Fuck, I aged so much more than he did." <laughs> Don't show us next to each other. <laughs> yeah. Like I feel him. I feel him. But yeah, so maybe it'll be all right. I, my hopes aren't high. Yeah. Um. But yeah, maybe if like. If they can, if they can put Fox just in it more, he looks so out of place. Yeah, <laughs> that was the greatest but part. But they're like side by side, and there's just like human, <coughs> human, 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 a fox, human. <laughs> Beautiful, great, great stuff right there. And then they, the the finale of their shit was fucking Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Ah, and do you know what it looks like? An Assassin's Creed game. Is this gonna be the new Assassin's Creed? <laughs> I fucking called it. What? That is not what you fucking call your game <laughs> this year. <laughs> oh yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, you can play as a Wombs. So tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? Oh no, they're gonna have like every philosopher ever in this, aren't they? Of course they are, it's fucking Assassin's Creed. Oh god, I if you have to fight a fucking Minotaur. Such fun gameplay. You really should have left me alone. Do people so... cheer that? Yeah. Just do ninjas already, you fucking idiots. Can't like. Oh my god. Fuck off! Why was that your finale? I don't see a panda. Yeah, no, I see no panda. It does. That's Mind all blown. there. That's all there is to say. It has led to one of the funniest things, though, which is so. So they're allowing um, same-sex marriage, uh, not marriage, like same-sex relationships in in this new Assassin's Creed because it was set in Greece. Hmm. And there have been so many people complaining about the historical accuracy of that, and people just being like, 
Do you know how grease worked? Yeah. Like, no, there was there was dicks in every man. That was it. Like like. <laughs> what, what was there the saying that was like, women are for children, men are for fun, or something like that? Yes, yeah, something along it's, those lines. It's something along those like, like the Greece fucking the the Greece the Greeks fucking loved a bit of dick on dick action because that's how it works. I'm just not. It's, yeah, you, you sword fight. Yeah, that's it. That's that's how gay sex works. <laughs> Uber <soft. laughs> I can't come if it's not a good monster.